Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a special two-in-one reading. I'm going to be doing couples or those of you that are in a connection in the first half of this video and then singles in the second half. Feel free to watch both if you're interested. Um, this will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know the drill. This cannot resonate with everyone watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. And we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to start with those of you that are in a connection first. Spirit. Any messages for Pisces in a connection at this time? What does Pisces need to know during this time regarding their connection for Pisces? For Pisces, what do they need to know? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. And um, I especially want to say thank you to those of you who take the time out of your day to be so kind. It does not go unnoticed. All right, Pisces, let's get into this. I'm doing a simplified Celtic cross today using Tarot of the Golden Wheel. All of the decks are in the description box, the ones that I use. Okay. Page of Cups reversed. Crossed by... Knight of Cups reversed, my goodness. So those of you that are in some sort of a connection right now, probably doesn't feel so great. Either something's off with the communication or there's something that's been really heartbreaking. Uh, this Knight of Cups, um, they can't really be trusted. They, they use emotion and words to get what they want. So it's not like they don't care at all, but it's almost like just be careful what they say and what their intentions truly are. Page of Cups reverses is someone that's extremely like heartbroken, disappointed. So something here has happened um, in your connection where someone's just telling you what you want to hear or there's been some sort of heartbreaking uh, situation that's happening here. Why is this happening? I want to apologize in advance because while I'll, I love this tech, it is very big um, and my hands are not very, very big. So uh, I drop cards a lot, but I love this deck. So just bear with me. Why is this happening? Oh, I got two. Okay. Two of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune reversed. I'm, I'm getting a lot of Wheel of Fortune reversed um, in these in these readings that I've been doing. Wheel of Fortune Reverse, this is just bad timing. Things don't seem to be working out. Um, you feel like you have the worst luck in the world. And then the Two of Pentacles, this is all about juggling, multitasking, um, weighing the pros and cons of a situation. Bottom of the deck, I have Strength. So... Maybe this has all, this is why everything is happening. This is the root, the foundation of the reading. So this is kind of the, what gets things moving. So this Wheel of Fortune reversed, it, it might feel like nothing's working out, that everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Um, you're feeling like you're going against the current. So everything is just that much harder, that much more difficult or challenging for you. Um, maybe it feels like this is the worst timing in the world for this connection that you're in. And so at the same time, you're thinking, um, maybe you're probably, there's too much to handle at this time or, um, too much going on and, and you're trying to do too many things at once here, keep it all together. Maybe it's not working out. I am going to clarify all of these. So what's on your mind, Pisces? What is on High Priestess. Well, there you are. On your mind is... I feel like there's a lot going on in your mind and you're not sharing it. Five of Wands reversed at the bottom. You might be wanting to figure out how to overcome a conflict, overcome a bad argument or overcome drama 
there's something you're not saying something you're keeping close to the to the vest or or just something you're keeping to yourself here um i feel like you know something it's almost like your, your intuition is on fire right now and so this situation that's happening i feel like you you have an insight what happened in the recent past What happened in the recent past? What happened in the recent past? Seven of Pentacles reverse. Bad investment. Maybe feeling like things are just not working out. Um, doubting if anything is going to happen. Uh, maybe feeling like you wasted your time or your effort because nothing, nothing grew from that. Okay, what's coming up in the near future? What's coming up in the near future? The Pisces. The Emperor reverse, Aries energy there. So um, maybe something's gonna be out of your control or feel like it's out of your control in the near future. Judgment reversed, maybe this is a bad judgment call or karma. This Emperor Reverse tends to be a very difficult person to deal with. The Emperor is used to getting his way, used to having things in order, used to being confident, making decisions. Um, not very emotional, the Emperor, um, but very wise due to, to all that he's been through. And so um, he's also a warrior. So when he's reversed, it's almost like there's a lack of confidence, power. Um, there's a, a need to control things a little bit too much. Um, so we'll see what comes up when I clarify. I'm just going to use the same deck. Let's start with this Page of Cups and Knight of Cups reversed. What's going on here? Why are the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups reversed here? How do you clarify? Strength. <laughs> okay. Got the same card. Okay, what else? Nine of Swords. So there's there's stress, anxiety about whatever's being communicated here. Because page and night. They're, they're messengers. They communicate something, bring some sort of news. I feel like you need to have, um, maybe you're trying to control your emotions at this time, not let your emotions get the best of you. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups reverse and the Page of Cups reverse. Three of Swords. This has definitely been um, a painful situation. Disappointing as well, heartbreaking as, as you know, this, this, that's really what I see here. You could be dealing with a Leo, someone with a Leo in their chart or a water sign or a Sagittarius. We have uh, temperance here. Um, it's almost like It's almost like someone wants something to, and again, Pisces, this could be you. This whole spread could be about you or about the person that you are dealing with. Um, whoever is in this situation where they're heartbroken, um, maybe they're just being told what they want to hear at this point. It's been very disappointing. It's a stressful time. Um, they're trying to have courage, trying to control their emotions. Um, and I feel like with temperance here, Someone's trying to possibly, uh, oh, I have death at the bottom, Scorpio energy. So when I see death here, I feel like death and temperance, two very strong energies, by the way. Um, I just, for some reason... For some reason, I think this Knight of Cups reverse, whoever's being 
is communicating and trying to manipulate someone and trying to to tell that person what they want to hear it's like they're trying to make something happen here and I think it's because they want to avoid an ending let's see tell me about the wheel of fortune reversed why is the wheel of fortune reversed the magician reversed so something is not able to be manifested um maybe something do to do with the past a past connection with the six of cups at the bottom here tell me more about the wheel of fortune reversed ten of pentacles interesting Something to do with a long-term connection, um, possibly a marriage, a family here. Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there is a strong connection here. And yet something's unable to be manifested. It's like this long-term commitment is unable to be manifested due to timing. Maybe there's someone juggling two things here. What's this Two of Pentacles about? What's this two of pentacles about? The Hierophant reversed. Taurus energy. Four of pentacles. Someone's deciding, I feel, if they should break a commitment or hold on to it. If they should hold on to something. For some of you, you're probably asking or wondering if you should hold on to something that or protect something that seems broken or seems to be fractured at this time, like something's not completely working out here. Why is the high priestess here? Tell me about the high priestess, please. The chariot. Cancer energy here with the chariot. You might be keeping to yourself the fact that you want to move. Yeah. Six of swords at the bottom. On your mind is leaving, moving, choosing a different path here. Cancer energy with the chariot. What's the seven of pentacles reversed about? Why is the seven of pentacles reversed in the recent past? Something here felt like a bad investment or like you wasted your time. There you are, the moon. Something possibly was confusing, muddy, an illusion. And then right underneath that, I, at the bottom, I have the seven of swords reverse. So it's almost like some someone got caught doing something and it, it's, it's, it's like, now you're wondering about the investment, the time, the effort you put into to this. Tell me more. Ace of Swords reversed. So, you know, you already know what this is. Deception. Bad communication. Can I get one more for this Seven of Pentacles reverse? Page of Wands. Interesting. So it's almost like someone is, um, yeah, eight of swords reversed at the bottom. It's like someone is using this as an opportunity. I don't know if it's you or this, uh, the person that you are in a connection with or thinking about, but something felt like a bad investment. Something was an illusion was not what it seemed on the surface. And there was some sort of deception or a lack of clarity. Um, maybe a terrible argument or words were exchanged that caused some sort of destruction. And then now there's a page of wands here because someone's breaking free from a mental prison. So it's like they're breaking free of their doubts, their fears, 
and going after something new. Communicating with someone new. Someone might be coming in to um, to talk to you, Pisces. And I feel like all of this here, you know, what has caused this, what happened in the recent past, what's on your mind, it's creating a perfect storm here. Um, and it's like you need strength. You need to have, you know, you need to have control over your emotions, have compassion for yourself, not let the stress and the anxiety get away or take you down the wrong path, you know? There's something I feel like you want to make happen, either you or this Knight of Cups reverse. You want to make something happen here, blend something, have something come together in harmony, and that takes time. And I feel like this requires focus. Whatever is happening with temperance here, whether it's you trying to make something come together or whoever is telling you what you want to hear, what they want to come together, it's only going to happen with the right circumstances. That's why it takes so long because someone is literally trying to make something happen here using moderation, using a little bit here, a little bit there, and it takes time and patience to do that. That's what temperance is about. So let's see, what's this emperor reversed about for the near future? Tell me about the emperor reverse. <clears throat> If this is resonating for you, please leave me a comment and let me know your situation because I love hearing your stories and how it resonates for you. Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Emperor reversed. Terrible partners, these two. They don't make good partners. It could also be that you feel powerless because you don't, you don't have the resources. You're dependent on someone or something. You're not very stable at this time. Tell me more about the Emperor Reverse. What's this about? Why is the Emperor Reverse here? It could be two people here as well. Five of Cups Reverse. You, you could be wanting to... Hold on, let me see. Can I get one more for the Emperor Reverse, please? Pisces. Queen of Cups. What? Two queens and an emperor. It's at the bottom. King of Cups. Okay. I'm getting so many messages right now. What's behind this Queen of Cups? Three of Pentacles reverse. Okay. So this could be a third party energy. Uh, third party interference. I have three people here. That's for some of you. Some of you are dealing in a th with a third party situation and one person in this third party wants to get back what they've lost with the five of cups reversed. Probably this queen of cups. However, with the emperor reversed, there's difficulty. The queen of pentacles reversed, there's, there's difficulty here. Either someone doesn't have the courage or the confidence or they don't have the resources or they are um controlling for others of you that are not in a third party something's not working with your current connection and it's making you think of another connection um, or um, whatever didn't work in the past or whatever situation you're in right now it's causing you to try to regain something overcome something and you don't have the resources to do that. You can't, even if you love someone right now or have feelings for them, there's something that's tying you down. Interesting. I feel like you want something to come together. This page of wands, this temperance, this chariot. You want something to happen here. Um, but but there's there's a block of some sort in the near future that you need to overcome. Um, otherwise I'll leave it here for my couples. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to stick around for the singles reading if you'd like. 
Um, don't forget to leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. And we're going to jump right into the singles. For Pisces. Those that are single at this time. I have to split this deck to really shuffle it because I can barely hold it for Pisces spirit. What do they need to know? Pisces that are single. What do they need to know? My single. Is it Pisceans? Sorry, I'm not an astrologer and I don't know all this, all this lingo. <laughs> I think it's Piscean. I'm going to shuffle really good because... For some reason, I even when I shuffle a lot, I still get similar cards. So I'm trying to keep that from happening. Okay. That feels good. All right, for my singles, let's see what's going on for you through the 15th. Okay, fine. Sometimes they just want to talk. Page of Swords, Reverse, and Knight of Wands. Yikes. Okay. Two ways this can go. Either someone here is, um, their intentions are a little bit twisted. There's a lot of passion and chemistry. Maybe you're going to meet someone that you will have the hots for. However, underneath it all, there's probably some, some deception. This could be something as, as small as a white lie to something like, hey, surprise, I'm married. Um, it could go either way. <laughs> But um, the Knight of Wands, hmm. they tend to be very impulsive. Um, they have a lot of courage and confidence. And so it, it kind of um, leads them down impulsive, risky paths. Because in their mind, they have nothing to lose. They jump in without really looking where they're going. Um, and they do it fast, usually. So we'll see what that's all about. Let's see, why is this happening? Why is this happening for my singles? Now, this could be somebody that you have that has their eye on you or you have your eye on them because the Knight of Wands, he's like, he knows where exactly where he wants to go. He's looking at something and ready to go. So we'll see. Why is this happening? Six of Wands. Well, someone wants recognition someone wants success definitely look what's at the bottom of the deck here queen of wands my goodness queen of wands guess what she wants if queen of wands wants success they are going to get it and i feel like this is something that's going to happen pretty quickly here what is going on what's on your mind what's on your mind At this time queen of pentacles reversed hmm what happened in the recent past there's way too many what happened in the recent past okay okay Page of Cups and Six of Pentacles Reverse. Someone either apologized for not putting in any effort, not being able to give you something, not having a balance. Someone could be expressing how they feel, but they're unable to give you what you need. Could be either, either of those. What's going on in the near future? The sun. Wow. Okay. Happiness, joy, clarity. Okay. So let's get right into this. Let's start with this page of swords reverse. What's the page of swords reversed about? This is someone not telling you the whole story. Maybe um, not being very clear, not very good communicator. 
or a message that's intercepted. Let's see. What is this page of swords? Okay. Death reverse, six of swords reverse. Okay. Interesting. Scorpio energy with the death reversed. Now with death reverse, this is someone who's resisting an ending, resisting change, not wanting something to end. And I think it's because they want they want to return possibly with the six of swords reversed. This could be somebody that wants to come back to you. They, it's not over for them. Or um, maybe, but why are they lying about this? Why are they not communicating very well about this? What's at the bottom? The world. Okay. So it's like, I feel like a, like a push and push and pull here. Someone wants a new cycle uh, to start something new, close a chapter, start a new one. And there's like some sort of like interruption, delay, or someone kind of not wanting this to end. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Let me move this over. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Wow, Ace of Cups. Beautiful. So this, this is what this Knight of Wands wants. New love. And also, I feel like ultimately commitment with the um, King of Pentacles. So why is this happening? Tell me about the Six of Wands. This all sounds great, but wh what what exactly is going on here? Tell me about the Six of Wands. Where's the Six of Wands here? Eight of Cups reversed. Another card about coming back, returning, unable to leave. What is going on? Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Are you guys waiting for someone? Nine of Swords. <laughs> One more, please. Tower Reverse. Excuse me. Tower reversed. You, you possibly were trying to avoid a tower. with the Nine of Swords and the Tower reversed. You didn't want something to blow up. Um, you didn't want to be surprised or shocked by something. You didn't want something to crumble and Because you want success, you want to be recognized. Um, and I don't know if it's because you want to be recognized and have success with someone from someone had that already left or you want to find success elsewhere and you can't leave. You can't have your new work, like your world. You can't have a new beginning, a new chapter. I feel like you want love or, you know, you, you this is what, this is what you are after. But there's some sort of interference here, some sort of block. And it has to do with like a message that's not coming in or a lie, a dis some deceptive, something you don't know the full truth about. Tell me about the Page of Cups and the Six of Pentacles reverse. Why are these in the recent past? I 
Five of Cups reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed. I feel like someone wants to get back what they've lost. And a decision was made. King of Cups. This is somebody that cares about you or you care about them. There's emotion here. And it's like someone has dropped the ball or has has that was juggling something they they're no longer able to keep it up and they the five of cups reverse is all about coming out of um either healing um overcoming disappointment or someone wanting to get back what they've lost regain what what, what has been lost before they want to get it back so this page of cups could be an apology from someone However, I also have the Six of Pentacles reversed. So it's almost like there's still that underlying energy of something being off balance here. What? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed on your mind? Why is this Queen of Pentacles reversed here? This is someone that doesn't want to give anything, wants to think of themselves. Um, they don't have anything to give. Maybe at this time you want to be selfish for yourself because you want to take care of yourself. Let's see. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Why is she here? Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the Pe Queen of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Wands reversed. Can I get one more? What is Queen of Pentacles reverse? Empress reversed. And the Emperor at the bottom. I feel like you're thinking of something here. Of someone. Okay. The Emperor's Reverse, they, um, controlling energy, um, unable to manifest or create something new, unable to grow, tends to invest in the wrong thing. I feel like you don't have the resources and you're thinking in your mind, I don't have something that i need to to make to make my dream happen to go after what i want there's something missing here with the queen of pentacles reverse and the emperor's reverse they don't have resources queen of pentacles is 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 also um dependent on someone else the emperor's reverse they are just they, they don't have they're not able to manifest anything they don't have the resources to do it and seven of wands reverse this is someone who um has is no longer standing their ground no longer able to fight the opposition no longer able to defend themselves wanting to give up and then i have the queen of cups so it's almost like you have a lot of emotion but you don't have the resources i don't know tell me in the comments if this is resonating um for you there's something that you don't have there's something that you're it's almost too like for others of you um it's like you're dealing with difficult people here and it's been a constant fight or constant um having to defend yourself and you don't want to do that anymore you know this could be the people that are delaying your departure That's for some of you. Tell me about the sun. What's the sun about? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Having something to come together. I feel like it's gonna make you happy. Let's see, tell me more about the sun. 
two of wands. Choosing a path. Tell me more about the sun. Seven of swords. Sneaking away, being strategic in which path you choose. Be very careful about how you, what path you choose, how you make something happen. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. This could be a communication or a message, um, some sort of truth or clarity that you've had about how to make something come together. It's like you're trying to figure out which path will take you there. And this is motivated by emotion, by love. Someone might be coming into your life that motivates this, this energy. Like it's almost like someone might come into your life that you're very passionate about and have a lot of love for. But you're unable to really leave a situation. Or this could be for others of you, um, the past. You want the past back. You want them to return. You don't want this to be over. Two different groups of people I'm talking to here. Uh, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes and your comments. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in another video. Take care.